Warning! Videos by Billy Allsbrooks do cause side effects. And all the side effects are Champions being born Dreams being realized The weak becoming strong Weight loss Victory over unbelievable odds Incredible comeback stories The sick being healed Marriage is being restored Victory over all forms of addiction Job promotions Average people becoming millionaires Warriors becoming blessed and unstoppable These videos will motivate and inspire you to take action Warning Your faith is now being increased to the level it takes to move mountains Grind Arise champion I'm Billy Allsbrooks and I approve this message. All things are possible to him that believeth. So I dare any one of you out there to tell me I can't do something. I'm not afraid of sweat. Greatness. Sweat activates the beast on the inside of me. Be smooth. So I dare any one of you to tell me I can't do something. Tell me that. My why is so strong. Greatness. That I can run through walls with it. I'm not scared of hard work. What you call hard work? I love to sweat. Your work regimen is my warm up. You can't outgrind me. See, I don't have a plan B. It's do or die. That's why you're no match for me. Every day I'm all in. 120. Why you sitting there trying to figure out your backup plan? I'm a champion every day. This ain't no game for me. You can't stop me. I'm hungry, dedicated, and fearless. Ladies of focus. I keep my goals in front of me. I'm grinding. I take it one day at a time. Grind. One set at a time. Grind. One rep at a time. Grind. Simplify the process. My name is consistency. And when the world sees me, they don't see me. They see the inner standard of greatness that I hold myself to. I don't strive for good. Raise your standard. I don't strive for great. Raise your standard. I strive to be the best that's ever done this. Legend. I will leave the legacy of a champion. In my mind, I visualize over and over and over performing at the highest level. When I'm all alone in the weight room, when I'm all alone on that field, on the court, I can hear and feel the sound of thousands of fans crammed together in a sold out stadium full of energy, yelling my name. Greatness over and over again. I visualize this. Grind. Can I get an amen from all the champions out there who know what I'm talking about? Greatness. I refuse to concede to any other outcome than the one I set out for to be the greatest champion. Going half speed, letting up, quitting. Those things are foreign to me. My mindset, my champion DNA. Won't even entertain the idea of accepting average champion. This fire, this burning on the inside of me to improve and get better every day allows me to dominate my opponent. Greatness. See, I own the space on the field. Complacency is not welcomed here. I turn setbacks into setups for victory. Arise, champion. Don't look in my eyes, let the world know that I am serious. Beast mode. I'm all in 120. And I dare any one of you to tell me I can't do something. I'm on a mission. Playing with a purpose. I eat the weak who fear made soft. Those that hesitate get ran over. I stay ready. It's who I am. I don't need a game, a season, an event to train for. I'm a champion, it's my lifestyle. I live this. I do this every day. I practice so hard, I laugh at game day. I've adopted the mindset of the unstoppable. All in. And every day, I get up and do what the world told me was impossible. What choice? So I dare any one of you to tell me I can't do something. Who wants some of this? Hustle. I'm not cocky. I'm not arrogant. But the world belongs to the bow. Hustle. You and the rest of them are no match for my work ethic. Survival of the fittest. And I'm the lion out here. I'm the shark. Hustle. And I smell blood and I'm coming. I don't want you, them, or anybody to give me respect. I'm gonna take it. I will purpose.
just what I want was sweat. Championships can't be borrowed from those who earned it last year. To hold up that trophy, you had to own it. While you were sleeping at 4 a.m., I paid the cost to be the boss. While you were going to parties in the club, chasing chicks, doing interviews, I had your face in my mind. While doing those extra laps, hustle, those extra sets, those extra hours, I spun perfecting my game. Fame made you soft. Pain made me invisible. Hustle, I'm starving. Ready to eat soft, complacent, unfocused opponents who dare step on the field with me. My name will forever be tied to greatness. All around the world, they will say my name. They will show my highlight reels. Trophies and awards and accolades. That's not what drives me. Those things have limits. Me, I have none. My why is legacy. And legacy doesn't take days old. Hustle. I feel too alive to take a vacation. I get high on being the best version of me I can be. I push the envelope. I reach higher. I step out further. I want to see just how far I can really go. You don't want to go against me, I'm telling you. I'm relentless. I won't let up for a second. You better hold destiny. Put you on my team, that you're not my opposition. Cause I will grind until I make you quit. The only question will be, who's gonna be coming in second? This is the language of champions. You either understand it or you don't. No mercy, no let down, no tapping out. Give me what I want and what I earned in sweat. And I dare any one of you to tell me I can't do something. Be smooth. All things are possible to him that believe it. This is the way of the champion. And I dare any one of you to tell me I can't do something. I'm Billy Osbrooks. Blessed and unstoppable. What kind of life do you want to live? Success is a choice. It's a decision that only you can make for you. First comes the choice. Then comes the commitment. Are you willing to commit to doing what it takes to go where you want to go? A lot of people say they want to be successful, but they struggle and they stumble on that commitment part. A lot of times, the only way we will make that commitment is we have to hit rock bottom. We have to get so sick and tired of feeling the way we do before we'll ever take the action needed to crawl up out of that pit. I think you're ready. I think you're ready and you wouldn't be listening to me right now. I think you know that you have greatness on the inside of you. And you just need somebody to speak over your life and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I speak greatness over you. Arise, champion. I'm speaking to somebody out there. The reason you feel so uncomfortable on the inside it's because you know you're not being the best version of you that you can be. That discomfort is trying to move you from where you're at to where you belong. Your destiny is greatness. And you know this on the inside. And that voice just keeps on calling and you're never going to have the peace until you go become who you are supposed to be. Now we're going to set this change in motion for you right now. I want you to say this with me. I want you to say this out loud. I am ready to change my life. I am willing and committed to going all in and fully commit to doing the things that it takes to become the person I was meant to be. And that starts right now. All excuses stop right now. I will not from this point forward, point the blame at anybody else for my own destiny. I will take responsibility for who I want to be. I will get up every day and work toward that person that I know that I am on the inside. I pledge with all my actions allegiance to success. I will search deep down inside for a why that will allow me to 
and run through walls with it because I will not be denied. Champions put in place the habits and daily rituals that manufacture success. They push themselves constantly to the point of pain. And by refusing to tap out to that pain, they eventually give birth to greatness. Pain is no match for a real champion. The legends understand to be a winner. One must be comfortable at being uncomfortable. The dark, the unknown, the fears that stalk each and every one of us must be faced and faced alone. For the more we go through the fire, the more refined we become. Those struggles, trials, and tribulations, they mold and shape us, prepare us for the calling and events to come. We learn to perform under stress, under duress, and without hesitation, because perfect practice consistently makes one perfect all the time. The inner standard of a champion sets him apart from the masses, the wannabes, and the uncommitted. Legends refuse to settle for mediocrity. For them, being average is the plague and totally unacceptable. Champions go all in all the time. Not just on game day. When the practice is over for the team, the work for the champion just begins. They understand the process and what is required to be elite, to be great, to be the best. It requires obsession, passion, focus, and an unbelievable work ethic. Sweat becomes the friend of the 1%. Success is available to anybody that is willing to work for it. Success can only be bought with the currency of hard work. And champions refuse to concede to anything less than leaving every ounce of themselves on the practice field. The weight room, the classroom, whatever champions do, they carry that same inner standard of greatness with them. They don't turn it on and off depending on where they're at. It is constant. They never enter an environment without it. To stand next to them is to be infected. Their commitment inspires, strengthens, and impacts everyone who comes in contact with them. They are the leaders, not by word, but by actions. They set the example for their teammates and exemplify the message, blessed and unstoppable. They've adopted the same mindset of the ones who held up the championship trophies before them. And they continue to carry the torch so that the standard is never forgotten. Pain, defeat, and rejection are scared to come near these supermen who conquer loss with a vengeance. They fight, claw, and scratch until every second runs off the clock. Failure is not an option for them. They never quit, never concede, and never give up. Champions become phenomenal by mastering the basics. Day in and day out, they do the little things well. They take nothing for granted. They take no shortcuts. They do it the right way, all day, every day. Or they don't do it at all. The greats are so focused that they become immune to all distractions. And by discipline in their mind, they stay ready for the opportunity. And when that opportunity comes, they seize it with hunger. They feed on competition, chew on hard work, and drink sweat for replenishment. Only the strongest survive. This is the survival of the fittest. Most people are too comfortable with being good to ever be great. Easy is the breeding ground for complacency, and champions know this. Therefore, they smash all traces of it from their life. They shut the door to anyone who shows average mercy. When vision procreates with hard work, dreams become a reality. And to give up is to commit abortion on the life one could have had. Winning requires understanding every aspect of your opponent. And the best way to do that is to look in the mirror. It's you versus you. How bad do you want it? Do you want to be a champion? 
I mean, do you really want to be a champion? I mean, a champion in all walks of life. Every area, let your grind, your work ethic, your execution speak for you. See, champions know there is no all season. The all season is the season. And this is the same, not just in sports, but in business, in relationships, in your spiritual life. This is the way of the champion. I'm Billy Alls Brooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. Your mouth is a creative weapon. It's not a tool for distributing excuses. The first sign of a loser is an excuse. Champions take full responsibility, good or bad, for their outcomes. Tell the world one time what you're gonna do, and that's it. Spend less time talking and more time grinding. Think like a champion. Speak like a champion. And then walk it out. Grind 120 all day, every day. Stop making excuses. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Every time you justify being average, you invite in the enemy. Mediocrity is a dream killer. Your coach, your trainer, your teacher, your boss is not the problem, it's your consistency. You gotta make a decision, how bad do you want it? Average is on the left, success is on the right. You gotta choose which one you want. A champion's workout doesn't officially begin until pain arrives. You see, greatness is right on the other side of pain. So what are you running from it for? You say you want to be successful, then push through it! Stop making excuses and go get it! Very few battles are won under ideal circumstances. So you gotta simulate and practice the unknown so that the unexpected will not derail you. Every morning when you get up, ask yourself, how can I put myself in a place where I'll be uncomfortable? See, you have to master the unknown. You gotta master your fears. You gotta master the unexpected. So when it happens, you are prepared. Champions can push through and keep going when everyone else around them is quitting. They have immersed themselves in pain so often that they have become immune to it. Greatness is on the other side of pain. Go get it! The more you expose yourself to pain, the more comfortable you will become in its presence. A champion's workout doesn't officially start until pain arrives. Everything else is just a warm-up. A boxer can be the best technician in the world. But if he gets in the ring and the first time he gets hit, he falls apart, he's not gonna be a champion, I tell you that. See, and life is just like that with us. We're good until we get hit in the face. But what separates champions from the rest is when they get hit, they keep coming. When you hit them a second time, they get stronger. And by that third time that life hits you and you're still standing, the world will know there's a champion in the ring. How bad do you want to be successful? Do you want it bad enough to get hit in the face? Because I tell you right now, that's what life's going to do to you. It's going to hit you when you least expect it. When you got your guard down, how will you respond? Refuse to let the world break you. Show life what a champion looks like. I'm Billy Osbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open 
and favor will begin to chase you down. Less Than Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Less Than Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at Less Than Unstoppable. Also available on Amazon.